Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from My Menopause Transformation. I've just been making a little video for women in my private coaching community. Uh, I've got thousands of women in there and we've had a real focus over the last um, couple of weeks on nutrients that matter as we come through the different phases of menopause. So I just wanted to check in with you and just uh, tell you a little bit about uh, a couple of those nutrients. When women come onto the program, they get a wonderful um, food information book. I've got another book that's full of recipes as well. And in this book, I've got information about specific nutrients that are known to help alleviate our symptoms as we come through menopause. And then, of course, as we step into post-menopause, when periods have ended for a year or more, um, and we're going into our healthy aging years, then there are certain nutrients that we need. So a lot of us are spending lots of money on different um, supplements for menopause and um, many of you might find these helpful but what we also have to do is focus on food. I always say that the gut and our digestive system recognize um, food and therefore what we've got to do is we've got to take a food first approach when it comes to nutrients. Now as many of you know who've been following me for a while I um, take on board the my, my, the my Menopause Transformation programs are grounded in women's health and aging research and as part of that research I take the stance of the Mediterranean diet and I've made quite a few amendments to it that um, are more specific to our menopause transition. There's three phases of menopause, perimenopause to menopause to postmenopause. If you haven't listened to my masterclass on menopause yet then I explain about that in there. And as we come through these different phases of menopause then what we want to do is we want to be thinking about the nutrients that are going to be really helpful for us. For example if you're in menopause and you are still menstruating then you need iron and many women now are going vegetarian or vegan which is wonderful but you need to be checking your sources of iron. I'm often promoting um Fluoridex Vital. I don't have shares in, the, in this company, but this is an, uh, a, a plant-based iron that some of you might like to think about. And as we, but then as we go into post-menopause when we don't have periods anymore, you do have to be careful about your iron and not have too much. We only need, we move from 12 milligrams a day right down to 8 milligrams a day. And many foods have iron in them, um, particularly if you're getting your two cups of green a day for your folate and of course it's non-heme iron if you're not a meat eater then you want to really focus on how um, on your intake of greens and I always have greens growing in my garden I've got spinach and I also have parsley I've talked to you about those as well and uh, I certainly talk a lot in, in my programs about the um, about the different uh, foods and the nutrients they contain the other nutrient um, that I have a little bit of a focus on in my group, particularly for postmenopause women, is calcium. Now we need 1200 milligrams of calcium a day. Calcium um, works with vitamin D in the small intestine and helps to absorb vitamin D, helps to absorb calcium. So I'm always telling women to get their vitamin D levels checked, particularly on a day like this where it's uh, a bit cloudy, it's uh, winter here in New Zealand and um, so it's really important to have that um, to make sure you've got your vitamin D uh, um, levels up to as optimal as you can and uh, and then of course making sure that you are having enough calcium. Now we need 1200 milligrams a day when women come onto my program they get uh, a list of the different uh, calcium and as part of the Mediterranean diet I focus them on not too much dairy but certainly um, a little bit of dairy every day whether that with um, a, a plain acidophilus yogurt, unsweetened yogurt, and I also have a little bit of cheese. It's part of the Mediterranean diet. We've got to be very careful about cheese because it's got um, it's high pral, P-A-R-L, and pral stands for potential renal acidic load. And as we come into postmenopause, our kidneys are changing. We don't excrete. Um, 
high amounts of protein very well and uh, and so we do have to be careful about how much food that we're having but as part of that uh, uh, the magnesium we need um, uh, calcium and magnesium work together we need magnesium we need 420 milligrams a day calcium we need 1200 milligrams a day and for iron if you're in perimenopause you need 12 milligrams a day that moves down to 8 milligrams a day as you go into postmenopause so those are the three nutrients that are really really important as we come through our menopause transition into postmenopause I'm Dr Wendy Sweet my PhD is in women's health and aging I have got two 12 week programs circuit breaker for thinner leaner women transform me as my weight loss program and in both of these programs I have a real emphasis on nutrients that matter uh, to women's health as they come through their menopause transition because if we're not getting those nutrients there's more inflammation going on in the body and um, what we've got to do when we're having hot flushes and night sweats and we're not sleeping then often this is a sign that we're not getting the right nutrients in our diet so just keep that in mind jump to the website have a look at my blogs, do the symptoms um, quiz and I've got my two hour masterclass on menopause uh, there for you as well.